shoot's going crazy good. You know why? I'm gonna tell you. Four episodes, it's only 11.20, what? Damn. We're gonna get all of them done before lunch yeah. and then green screen, green screen, like that. But I can't wear these pants because they're green. I'd be like in a horror movie. I'd just be like my top a and there would be- floating torso. Exactly. With amazing I, let's shoes. Do yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, it's Marie Forleo, and you are watching Marie TV, the place to be to create a business and life you want to snuggle with and cuddle with and kiss and love. Today's question comes from Ava, who writes, Hi, Marie. I'm Ava. I'm six years old. My question is, why did God make the feeling of anger? I ask my mom every day if Marie is going to answer my question today. Thank you. Love you, Ava. Oh my goodness, Ava, this honestly is one of the best questions ever. Thank you so much. And I got to say, huge thanks to Ava's mom for sending it into us. You know, one of the things that my mom taught me when I was just about your age is that I could talk with God any time I wanted to. You know, she said I had this direct line to God and I could ask questions and I'd always get an answer back. What I'd have to do is just listen to that still small voice inside and that's how I'd hear my answer. Now that said, I do have an A for your Q. So my belief is this. I believe that God made anger so that we could use it to create a much better, more loving world. And here's what I mean by that. Anger, it's really a natural emotion. It's not bad and it's certainly not wrong to feel. Anger really is just energy and all energy can be transformed, almost like magic, just like electricity or heat. And you wanna know what else? This is something most people don't know. Once you understand anger and you really know how to use it, it can actually turn into this super powerful and super positive force because it can help you do things like stand up and speak out to help other people. So for instance, let's say that you saw someone being mean to another person. Now you might start to feel angry about that, right? Well, guess what? You can take that feeling and you can use it as fuel to do something positive, like maybe protect that person or speak up for them and their rights. So I really think that God gave us anger so that we could use it to transform it into the most powerful force in the entire universe. And you know what that is? That force is love. And here are three steps that'll help you do just that. Step number one, first thing you gotta do is you gotta really feel it. So when I say feel it, here's what I mean. I want you to take a really deep breath and see if you can feel that energy somewhere in your body. Just like, you know how excitement can sometimes feel like butterflies in your belly? Well, see if you can feel that anger energy in your body. So is it in your chest? Or maybe is it in your throat? Or maybe it's in your big right toe. Because when you allow yourself to really feel an emotion in your body, typically it only lasts just a few seconds before it changes into something else. So when you really allow yourself to feel that energy, then we're going to be ready to move on to step number two. Step number two is this. You got to question it. Now, here's what I mean by that. I want you to get really curious and ask yourself, Ava, what exactly do you feel angry about? What do you feel is wrong right now? And more importantly, why? So ask yourself, what do you think should happen instead? This is where perhaps it would be a good idea to talk with your mom or your favorite teacher, or you can even jot down your answers or draw a picture about it. Because understanding what you feel angry about and why is going to help you understand your values or what you really care about in this life. So some examples are things like fairness or kindness or generosity. And once you know your values, that can help you move on to step number three, which is this. Step number three is where we get to transform it. And this, my darling, is where all of the magic happens. So remember, right? Anger is just energy and all energy can be transformed. Now you want to ask yourself, is there some positive action that you might want to take to either help yourself or to help someone else? Is there something that you might want to make or share with others? Is there something that you can imagine that you could do to help you convert 
or transform that energy into a loving, positive action. Now, once again, this is all really great stuff to talk about with your mom or your favorite teacher or really any grown-up in your life that you trust. And I want you to hear a quote on this topic from someone who's one of my heroes in life, Dr. Maya Angelou, who said this, use that anger. You write it, you paint it, you dance it, you march it, you vote it, you do everything about it. Now, one more thing, Ava. Do you remember in the beginning that I said that my mom taught me that I have this direct line to God? Well, guess what? I do. So why don't we call up God right now and make sure that I didn't leave anything out of my answer? Marie, you usually text. What's up, Mama? Hi, God. Really quick, I know your time is so valuable. So I am shooting this Marie TV episode for Ava, who wanted to know why you created anger. And I want to make triple sure that I don't leave anything out of my answer. Marie, you nailed it, as usual. But hey, God, we're just shooting this. H how could you see it already? Come on, girl. I'm God. Yes, I don't know why I always forget. I think because we're such good friends. Okay, well, thank you so much. You know how much I love you. Have an amazing day and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. So there you have it. You heard the word from God herself. Your cue has now been aid and I really do hope it helps, Ava. Please keep me posted. And now I would love to hear from you. So what's an example from your life where you took that energy of anger, you know, that very fiery feeling that we all get, and you transformed it into something healthy and positive. I want Ava to see some concrete examples because I feel like they help all of us learn in a much more uh, productive way. So let's talk about it in the comments below. Now, as always, the best conversations happen after the episode over at marieforleo.com. So head on over there and leave a comment now. And while you're there, be sure to hop on our email list and become an MF Insider. That means you're going to get instant access to an audio I created called How to Get Anything You Want. Plus, you'll get some exclusive content, some special giveaways, and some personal updates from me that I just don't share on any other platform. Stay on your game and keep going for your dreams because the world needs that very special gift that only you have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Marie TV. Ready to find your voice and sell with heart? We'll show you how. Get started now with our free writing class at thecopycure.com. Side effects include enlarged profits. Let's get this train rolling. When they were clearing off the uh, Alice in Wonderland set, we were able to uh, what? pick up these guys. And does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? Do I answer that or is that rhetorical? Yeah, That's I just a question.